It's time for evolution. We welcome you to the Agora Art Family. Today we're going to be speaking about the mental, the emotional, and the physical, or the body, the mind, and the spirit. Now, can these terms be applied to drawing? Although they are metaphysical philosophies, do they hold some truth to when it comes to drawing? And so, the physical, the emotional, and the the mental, each one of them intertwined to form the trinity, the greater whole. And within this greater whole, we start to excel in our art. And so, to start off with physicality, the physical. Now, the physical is where we start off most often. The physical, many people aren't aren't taking action sometimes they are but the physical is the most common thing the physical is just you know sitting down getting the pencil and actually taking the action the physical action with your hand to draw it and this is where a lot of beginners start off they know that you know to, you have to physically draw even when you're a, a child you physically draw you take the action with your hand to draw and at times, uh, the physical and the emotional, they start to intertwine with one, one another in, in forms of abstract art or gesture drawing. And so that leads on to the, the, second, the second topic, the second uh, portion is um, the emotional. Uh, the emotional, how do we improve with our emotional? Many professors, they tend to say, when it comes to gesture drawing, to draw how you feel about the subject. Now, drawing how you feel, this can help you, you know, build up your speed. Gesture drawing is great for, you know, understanding the, whatever you're drawing, and at the same time, just building up your intuitive skill, building up your speed. The, that's part of the emotional order, the spirit. And you hear many professors say that gesture is what brings life to your drawings. It makes the spirit come alive. It makes the emotion of the drawing come alive gesture is the core that defines really your drawing however it isn't the only important thing because everything forms into a trinity so that leads on to the third which is the mental now the mental is understanding your proportions understanding the anatomy understanding how the body works the mental deals in more logic and when you un when you understand logic it's is mainly surrounded within you know the studies or just understanding you know the mechanics of how a goes to c and how a goes to c is because of b and so contrary to popular belief i don't believe that art is a form of emotional of emotional charge Art is more so a form of the trinity, the mental, the physical, and the emotional. And in some cases, art is an emotional charge when it comes to uh, abstract art. So it really does depend on the genre of art. And so, in, in a sense, art does have logic to it, likewise to mathematics. And with every form of mental improvement, it will also need a support from the emotional and physical uh, action and so let's just say you study some a new portion of the anatomy and you really wanted to have it ingrained in you and so what you would do is like look into you know gesture drawing the emotional aspect and you know actually do the physical aspect which is you know put in your hand down to paper or a pencil down to paper and actually drawing and, and practicing and so they say that we can't time travel. Now, time travel, is that limited to physicality? We may not be able to time travel physically. However, time traveling emotionally and at the same time time, time traveling mentally, it, it's possible when you're, you know, reminiscing about the good old times. So in a sense, it's like mental and emotional time travel. And that will be the video. Thank you guys for watching. This is the Ogono Art Family. Feel free to caress that subscribe button. Peace.